is up YouTube welcome back to the channel so it is December 6th and uh, it's Wednesday which means we're gonna hit chest today so uh, I'm gonna do a little bit different of a style workout today um, because I hit legs and yesterday it was a killer workout with coach and um, I kind of wanted to do a rest day today, but I said, you know what, I'm going to still train, but I'm going to do it a little differently than I was planning to. Um, so with that being said, I am hitting chest still, uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, forearm work. I've been doing that with my chest days as well. But today, we're going to focus on um, just moving light weight but for reps and just really trying to perfect our technique. Today, since I'm at home training, uh, I decided I'm gonna do a little bit different style uh, when it comes to the filming. So I'm gonna film my sets, but I'm also gonna explain while I'm doing the sets, kind of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so let's get right into it. To begin, uh, we started out with the incline treadmill just to get nice and loose. Um, and that felt pretty good. So now we're going to move on to our warm ups. All right, you notice the first thing I do, um, and usually I've been doing it probably since the beginning of prep, is I go up to the pull up bar and I just do a dead hang. And I just hang and let my lats kind of lengthen and get loosened. I also pull my scapula back and just hold here and I also do little half or quarter rep pull-ups and hang. You'll notice you'll elongate your torso and that's your goal is you're wanting to elongate your spine um, and that way you get everything loosened up. Uh, my back cracks really easily so when I do these you, I usually crack three or four times and it just relieves a lot of the pressure. Um, I've also been doing close grip hangs. This one, it just gets the top of my back nice and loose. And also I pull my neck forward through my hands and that actually gets my delts nice and loose, but also cracks my neck, which is definitely needed on a day where we're doing bench press. All right, next we have, um, I like to do a lat stretch. So, I put my hand here, I square my body up, and I pull my body weight down and my lat out. So I'm extending my arm and I go deep into a nice stretch. Your goal is to pull your lat out and forward. And that's just going to elongate and loosen up uh, your lats again. And I usually hold a lot of these stretches for you know, 20 to 30 seconds. Um, today we're doing different stretches just because um, as you can see the bars like right here in my face, we're limited on space, but we're also limited on uh, equipment. Um, I don't have as many bands like we do at the gym. So that's why I'm doing these stretches, just a little bit different variations. Next, we're gonna take our hand here um, I keep it about shoulder level. I keep my elbow bent. We're gonna get into like a front uh, stance and you're gonna pull. You're gonna pull your chest forward, chest up, head up, and you're pulling your chest forward as you're um, using the bar here as a guide to push up against. And it's really just gonna get that chest and also your rotator cuff and your shoulder really loose. And uh, days like these where you're doing bench or any flat movements, these are a really good stretch. All right, now we're moving on to our weighted warm-ups. So um, I do these a lot um, just to get me nice and loose and it feels really, really good. So the first one is going to be, you're gonna go out and in and you're gonna push your chest forward as you're coming in. Uh, so it's like a variation of a fly, but you're gonna keep your elbows nice and tucked in here. And this is really just gonna work on your shoulders and getting everything nice and loose. 
it almost looks like I'm a freaking bird or something flapping my wings, but uh, trust me, if you do these, they feel really good. So I just do these a few times and I really try to contract my chest. And then I move on to front raises. So I bend my arms just slight and I go front. Now, usually I have like a three and a half pound dumbbell or a three pound dumbbell. That's what we have at the gym. These are five pound plates. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with them, but the five pound plates will do too. Um, if you notice that these weights are too heavy, then drop down. Even doing bands with these is fine too. Um, actually, that's probably better, but for me, I've always done weights and bands, so it works for me. Next is gonna be a rotator cuff. This is the one where it would be nice to have three pounds. So you're gonna almost be like a scarecrow here, and you're going to go down and back up. You're flaring your elbows out, but you're keeping it nice and level. So it should be shoulder length, and you're just rotating back and forward, back and forward. And you're doing these kind of slow, but these are just loosening up, again, your rotator cuff and shoulder. So you do those a few times. Uh, next, I like to go to side raises. These are nice and easy. You just do these a few times. Next movement. All right, movement one is going to be uh, a bench press, just flat bench press. Like I said, we're gonna focus on the leg drive, as you can see, and uh, we're just gonna warm up your chest with the bar. It's always good to just do a set with the bar, get your body nice and loose, and used to the bench that you're using. Now, all of our equipment here is Olympic weight, so this is a 45 pound bar, or barbell. But as you can see, I'm going nice and quick, but I'm keeping myself planted. You can hear that click, but I'm still doing proper technique. Now, as you go up in weight, when you're warming up, it should get slower and slower. You should be able to control the weight more. Now, when it's just the bar, I'm just getting myself nice and loose, getting it pumped up. Now we're gonna add some weight to it. This next set, we're doing 135 up on the bar. We're gonna shoot 12 to 15 reps. Um, nothing too crazy, but we're gonna try to slow it down a little bit. So if I only get 12, that's all right, but we're in 15. Let's get it. So we did a set of 135 for 15, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and do two more sets, both at 135, and we're just gonna focus on the contraction. But let's go to our next movement. 
All right, next movement, we are going into a um, dumbbell flat press. Uh, I have 45 pound dumbbells. Um, we only have 25s, 45s, and 12s here at home, so I'm gonna stick with the 45s, and we're gonna go for reps again. Let's hit this press. We're gonna go for probably 10 to 12. So when I bring them down, I'm coming straight towards my pec line. I come out and my hands are kind of at an angle and I push up and pushing my chest through the ceiling. And I just go here and I never have the weight touching each other. You know, you see a lot of guys try to press with the dumbbells clamping noise like this. And actually, you're not really controlling the weight if you're letting it hit. So you're not actually getting, you're not actually getting the best um, range of motion. So that's why I keep it like that. All right, this round we're gonna go 10 to 12 again, staying at the 45s. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do two more sets of that at the same rep count, 10 to 12, same weight, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with filming all of the same content. So let's move on to the next movement. All right guys, next movement we got here is gonna be an incline fly, an incline dumbbell fly. So we're gonna hit the 25s, and this bench is elevated a lot, but your goal is to come out, I don't go out all the way just because my shoulders hurt if I go too far out. So I'm controlling the weight. I'm keeping my elbows kind of bent, not straightening it. And as I come up, I kind of twist the dumbbells just a little bit up at the top and come down in here. Just nice and easy. I'm never touching the dumbbells at the top of the movement, I'm always controlling the weight. I'm pushing through my chest. It's not an arm movement, this is a chest movement. This next set, same thing here. Um, as you can see, I keep myself nice and tucked up here, and I got my shoulder blades up against the pad, but the actual bottom of my back is not on the pad but my butt still stays in contact. So I'm arching enough, but that's pushing my chest up. So this is me flat, and this is me arch. That arch is gonna push all of the weight up towards your chest. Your chest is going through the ceiling. Chest up, head up. Again, now you have a better angle I come down, I control the weight, come back up, and I have this little twist up at the top. Now we got two more sets of that as well. We're going four sets on almost everything we're doing today. So another exercise that I've been doing is decline push-ups. These are really good chest development and also getting that upper ab section nice and tight and shaved off. So let's get it. We're gonna 
we're probably just going to do four sets of 12. Um, the last set, that's what I've been doing, but the last set usually I go till failure. So um, sometimes if I get a good rest in between, I can hit 15, 16. Um, so, but we're going to try to just get 12 for four sets today. Now we're moving a little bit different with this workout today. Uh, like I said, it's kind of just an easier day, but I really wanted to show you guys kind of my chest day. So our last movement for chest that I'm gonna film today is gonna be an incline plate press. We're not gonna do the um, bar, and that's just because the position of this one is not my favorite. It's not very good on my shoulder for me personally. Plus it's always nice to have a spot on the incline barbell. Um, and right now, I don't have a spotter. So, we're gonna stick with the plate, but that's good because it's gonna focus on that inner chest and that upper chest, which is really good. But it's gonna keep the grip nice and neutral and uh, it's gonna be closer than the barbell here. So, uh, I'm really wanting to focus on building my upper chest. That's my goal for this off season. So, these are a really good variation of um, an incline press for isolation. Alright, so I grabbed a 45 pound plate. Now this is the multi-grip plate, which is going to work really good for this one. Um, so we're going to kick it up and we're going to keep it here nice and loose, neutral grip. We're going to press up. Now, same thing as the fly. My chest is going to be pushing through the press and you're coming here. And I'm going to do these slow. So I'm slow on the negative. But on the positive, I'm powering through. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go 15 reps. Now, I should mention, um, obviously, I am not showing my full rest times on here, um, just to shorten up the video for you guys, but I am staying in between a um, 30 to a minute rest in between every set. So keeping it relatively short, but enough to push through the workout and actually get something accomplished. So uh, we're gonna stay at this weight. We're gonna do 15 again. Really just focusing on pushing that chest through again. All right, now we're kicking up that weight again. Now this one, I'm gonna bring up and back towards my head just a little more on the, um, when I'm fully extended up. So I'm gonna come down here, push up and over, just a tap. So you're following kind of a curved line up. So same as kind of your bench press, but this is really going to elongate my chest. So we're gonna go ahead and do two more sets of that, four sets of 15. We're gonna stick with the same weight. So for forearms, I've been doing these um, pretty much every time I do forearm workouts. I'm doing behind the back wrist curls. And this is just really gonna tighten up and define your forearms. So uh, you keep it real close to your glutes and I like to kind of keep the bar roll up um, real close to my glutes. Now, you don't want to shrug it 
So we're not doing a we're not doing a shoulder shrug. We're doing a wrist curl. Now, uh, I'll change the angles here in a second, but you guys can kind of see I really my arm my hands are like hooks. So my fingers I let it roll all the way down till um, I can't let it roll anymore unless I drop it, and then I curl all the way back up again. Let it roll out and curl. Change angles. So from this side, I hope you guys can see. Here, let it roll out. Here, let it roll out. All right, so you guys can do that again, same thing. You can do it with the dumbbell, but you can do it forward. Or uh, like I like to use dumbbells with them as well, forward. Um, sometimes I even use the bench as a guide. Keep my forearm up on the bench here, and then I roll up. But this is all kinds of different variations. And these are to grow them, but more so to define your uh, forearms. Because in bodybuilding, there's a lot of poses that use your forearms, so very important. Now, for the forward, I like to use camber bar. So this 25 pound uh, bar. And then I have 30 pounds on it total. So uh, yeah, so not too incredibly heavy, but just enough. And like I said, just simple movement here. Nice and in front. Curl it back. So I just do all kinds of variations with these. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this workout. It was just a nice little easy chest day, um, but I hope I kind of um, maybe helped you guys find something new, different variation of the workout. I'm gonna start trying to do more of these videos lately. I think it's kind of fun. Um, Definitely better in a gym setting just because there's just more options. But like a lot of people have common things. A barbell, maybe uh, different variations of a dumbbell or um, the select rise dumbbells or the easy curl bar. Like people have those in their houses a lot of the time. So these are kind of workouts that you can do. Um, anywhere, hotels, all that kind of stuff. So there's always something that you can use to hit a good workout in. So there should be no excuses. But uh, with all that being said, we're gonna hit an arm day tomorrow. Uh, I believe I'm gonna film it. Hopefully that'll be up for Saturday, Sunday. So um, I'm gonna try to be posting more regularly here. Um, and I'm still working on that show day video. But if you like this video, please smash the like button. But follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your passion. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.